I really enjoyed Killer Under the Bed. I love creepy doll horror films and this is definitely one of those. This was released in 2018, directed by Jeff Hare, written by Brian Dick and Ken Sanders. And it stars Christy Swanson, Breck Bassinger and uh, Madison Lawler. And this family move into this house and one of the daughters finds this, this doll, this voodoo doll, uh, Kylie. And Kylie decides to give this doll a go to get back at her sister because her sister's been a bit mean to her. So she takes one of the pins and, and, and hurts the voodoo doll. And the next thing she knows, um, her sister has a pain in her leg, which is what she'd kind of done with the doll. And Kylie decides that she might be able to use this to her advantage because it's not just inflicting pain on other people, but she can also request positive things as as well and she begins to manipulate people around her through the use of this doll and things go south pretty quickly um the the doll definitely makes it quite clear that while Kylie thinks she is in control that's not the case and things get very intense and dangerous and people's lives are at risk and i don't want to say too much more about the narrative but i enjoyed it it's creepy it's unpredictable and it's definitely very thought provoking. I will say some of it seems a little bit cheesy. Some of the movements of the doll look a little cheap. I don't want to say too much more than that without giving too much away. But yeah, the doll, when the doll is being filmed, some of the doll's movements do look a little low budget. But the rest of it I thought was very well filmed. We have some really good supporting characters. Um, the woman, I, I've forgotten her name, but the woman that Carly's mother works with was really fascinating and gave such a really great performance. Uh, I thought she was uh, definitely a bit of a, a show stealer. Uh, Dr. Ryder, I believe her name was, um, played by Kristen Carey. And I wouldn't say it's the scariest film I've ever seen. In fact, it's not that scary. It doesn't rely on a lot of common tropes though. For example, jump scares, not really that present here, which is something I really appreciate because I'm not the biggest fan of jump scares. I feel like they can often feel like quite a cheap way of causing fear. I prefer things that are a little bit more psychological and the behavior of the characters under the spell of this doll are definitely quite fascinating to watch and very unpredictable. The teacher character, I, I didn't like. It's absolutely not the character's fault. It's because of the voodoo doll spell, but I found it so uncomfortable to watch. But that's kind of the point. That's what is meant to happen with this character, but it, it doesn't stop it from being an uncomfortable watch. But I, I really enjoyed the film. I thought the acting across the board was great. The narrative was you know, quite interesting. I was curious to see what Kylie would do next, who her next victim would be, or I guess who the doll's next victim would be. Uh, and ultimately, it took a direction I hadn't expected. And that meant that it kind of kept me on my toes and kept me engaged. Yep, the filming of the doll, a little bit cheesy, a little bit awkward. But other than that, I rather enjoyed it. If you like creepy doll horror um, and you don't want to take the film too seriously, then I think Killer Under the Bed is worth watching. It's currently on Disney+. Plus. Uh, definitely feels like a very un-Disney film, but there are obviously a lot of non straight up Disney films on there. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I didn't find it too, you know, intense a watch. It wasn't too much of an emotional roller coaster, but it was still very thought provoking, a, a little bit creepy, not necessarily terrifying, um, a little bit cheesy at times, but ultimately something that I really enjoyed.